hello 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 i'm back again i'm back again this brother west i'm back again um uh with another word of encouragement uh for you this um this um uh, what day is this uh this tuesday <laughs> tuesday um january 5th january 5th election day here in georgia election day here in georgia and so i wanted to come back um if i can uh, maybe five minutes another quick word another quick word another quick word and um and 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 what i want to talk about briefly uh give me about five or six minutes i want to talk about love we we'll to talk about love we we'll to talk about love and uh the unfortunate thing there's so many people that live in this life in this world today they are confused about what love is Many people are confused about what live, love is. Love, some people think love is always trying to fight for someone's attention. Some people think love is always just saying it. Uh, uh, so some people think love is uh, uh, always a fight for someone's attention or uh, pain. Some people think love is pain. Some people think love is um, happiness, always feeling happy. Some people think love is just a, just a feeling, just feel good, just happy all the time and happy, no no challenges, no nothing like that. Just just love is love, love. And so, but what I want to do, if you you can write this down if you want to get a pen and paper. I'm going to write down um, different eight eight different types of love, eight different types of love, and in the end, I want to talk about. His love. His love. His love. His love is God's love. His love, God's love. And before I um, present this to you and uh, and just talk to you about love and get you to see some insight about different angles and different avenues, different ways of looking at love, let's pray right quick. Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, I thank you, bless you, magnify your name, God. God, for this is the day that you've made, and we shall, we should, rejoice in this day and be glad in it. God, I'm grateful that you've given me a platform, a voice, to be able to speak to your people, life, speak to your people, uh, restoration, speak to your people, uh, whatever you put in my spirit and have put in my spirit, to render unto them, God. And God, I thank you, God, that your people are being healed. God, I thank you that your people's eyes, their eyes are coming open. The enemy, the enemy done had them, done had them blind and then had them in prison for so long, God. But God, their eyes are coming open. The eyes of the understanding are coming open, God. Because just like you said in the road with, with scripture, where it talks about um, the wheat and the tares, how the, the good man planted the, plant the seed, but then, then he went to sleep. But in that, in that point where he was human and he had to rest, when he had the rest, God, that's when the enemy came in and just began to just sow all kind of mess. Sow all kind of trouble. Sow all kind of confusion. And, and God, many that listened to him, and they haven't done that to them as well. When they were sleeping, when they weren't aware of certain situations in their life, when they were aware of certain uh, you know, things that the enemy was creeping into their life, God, they went to sleep. They went aware. But God, I thank you and I thank you. I thank you because you're saying the word that if the thief be caught, he must be repay. He must repay seven times. And God, the thief has been caught. He has been he has been caught. He has been exposed. His hand has been caught caught in the cookie cookie jar. God, God, we got him. God, I thank you, God. And so he got to pay. He got to let go of his hand. His hand has been holding on to so many things. His hand he had a strong hand. Then he had a strong hand on our blessings. But you said in your word, God, you said in your word the. Uh, fret not thyself because of wicked and evil do doers, because soon, God, they will be cut off. God, you said you were the treasures of the wicked. They are laid up for the just. They laid up for the righteous. They laid up for the meek. God, you, cause you said that the, the meek shall inherit, shall and earn, shall 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 glean, shall receive the earth. And God, we know that the earth is you. It belongs to you, and the food is there, and the world. And they that dwell in God, you said in your word, <coughs> that if we abide in you, we'll abide, dwell there. Dwell, live in you. <coughs> and your word, live and dwell in us. God, we can open up our mouth and ask, what do we ask? What do we will? Not just ask, but what we will, God. 
God, you said we can ask and will, and it shall be done, God. And God, we thank you, God. God, that we're on your side. God, we thank you. God, that you chose us, that you included us <coughs> for such a time as this, God. God, God, to reap heaven. God, to testify of you. God, to bring whatever you want to bring. God, to bring healing. God, to bring deliverance. God, to bring change, God. God, you said in your word, whom the Son of Man has made free, set free, is free indeed. God, our position, and God, our prosper, uh, and our posture <coughs> is for freedom, is for deliverance. But God, not just freedom and deliverance, but indeed, God. God set us free, <coughs> indeed. God, uh, God, bring our understanding into focus, indeed, God. God set us free. <coughs> God, open up every gate, shake every dungeon. Set us free, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen, 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 amen. I tell you. <coughs> I tell you, boy. I tell you. Whew. Let me get to this. <coughs> Lucia, let me get to this. Let me to right. Let me tell me to right. Tell me to right and read this. There's going to be eight things that I'm going to read from here. And these are eight definitions. Eight definitions of love. Eight definitions of love. And the first definition of love is, is a fila. Fila. And that is a P-H-I-L-A. And a, a fila is to love without romantic attraction. Fila, F-P-H-I-L-A. The definition is to love without romantic attraction. And um, fila is uh, connected to family, more or less family love, you know, the love that you have for uh, your wife, the love that you have for your kids, uh, love that you have, you know, in that sense. But then you have another kind of love. You have the uh, romantic love, the self-explanatory attraction, being attracted to someone, romance. But then you have the third one that's called um, pragna. Now, pragna and that is P-R-A-G-N-A. -A. That's an enduring love. A love that endures, that love that goes beyond. A, a, a love that's, that's keep, you know, self-explanatory. And now there's another type, there's another love. It's called Eros. Now Eros is the rom or romantic. You know, there's a feeling, there's a feeling, you know, there's, there's, there's a thing of loving someone, but there's a thing of a feeling in love, that romance, that, 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 uh, that aroma, that aura. And uh, eros, that's romantic love. Now, the, the there's another one. This is a one, two, three, four, five. Number five is uh, it's uh, S T O R G E. It's called um, pronounced storch, storch love, and it's a familiar love, familiar, familiar love. Then, the, then the uh, the next one, the sixth one is uh, uh, ludus. That is L-U-D-U-S, and that's the playful kind of love. And then you have uh, mania, which is a mania, self-explanatory, mania love. It's obsessive, someone is obsessive. Uh, then you have, um, and that, that mania is a M-A-N-I-A. And then you have philutia, philutia love. And it's our self love, loving yourself, falutia love. That is a, uh, that's P H I, L A U, T, I A. And the last one, and the greatest of them all is, and and write this down as well. This number eight, and that is agape. Agape love. Agape is a A, G, A P E, and that's agape love. Now agape love is. Is it's the completeness of uh, the completeness of all, everything, the completeness of all kind of love, is God, God given love, and agape love is selfless. Agape love, the God kind of love, is selfless, and so, and, and and see, man's love is, you do for me, I do for you, 
Alpha 9, 2 for 2. But the God kind of love is selfish, selfless. The worldly love is selfish, but God love is selfless. That means to give, I mean, uh, to go beyond, sacrifice. Uh, St. Saint, Saint John 3, 16, God so loved the world. God so loved the world. The whole world, God's love was able to, to cover love the whole world and in his love being able to cover the compassion of his love can love the whole world he gave his only begotten son so out of agape selfless love is a gift he gave he gave what he had he gave the best that he had god has given us the best that he had the best that he have that we can have relationship that we can spend time together uh, that we can talk, that we communicate. And the example of love, the total example of love, go to the cross, go to Jesus. That's God's love, Jesus. <coughs> God's love is Jesus. Things that he went through, what he suffered, what he endured, do all of that, and he died. The, the, uh, the scripture says that a true friend will lay his life down for a friend. Uh, was it uh, great are the wounds of a friend? Great are the wounds of a friend. So who's able to bear? <coughs> Someone's able to stand in, stand in the gap. Someone's able to cover. <coughs> a true friend covers. Scripture says love covers a multitude of sin. And so those are my words and some of the words are defined of what love is. Love, the total example of love is God. That's, your, that's, the, that's the answer right now. And the feeling, no, 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 no thing. The total example of love is God. The total example of love is God, or you could say Jesus. Because Jesus, Jesus and God is, is one, one flesh. Uh, one name, one, one name and spirit, one name and spirit. Uh, they, they're one. They're one in purpose, they're one in faith, they're one in authority, they're one in wisdom, they're one. And so when you look at the son, you see the father. And so, and when men look at us, they shall see Christ. When men look at us, as a believer, Christ Christian, to be Christ-like, Christ-like meaning to, to be the imprint, to be the expression, to be in the likeness of. And so if we're in the likeness of then, when men look at us, they see Christ. They see redemption. They see love. Is that all right? God bless you.